White Eagle Defiant is the second game from designers Ryan Heilman and Dave Shaw, who did Brave Little Belgium. If Brave Little Belgium was your first war game, White Eagle Defiant could be your second. It has a lot in common, but it adds a little more nuance, a little more complexity. You have more unit types with special combat abilities and effects on stacking. Pincer attacks increase the firepower you can bring into a battle while limiting your opponent's ability to respond. We'll get into all that crunchy stuff in another video. Today, I just want to go over the general situation. So, here's the game that's set up. As you might expect for a game about 1939 Poland, we have German forces uh, the, uh, concentrated on the border, ready to pour in, and we have scattered Polish forces ready to mount a desperate and stubborn defense. We also have some Soviet forces who may invade depending on how well the campaign is going for the Germans. Now, this is measured in captured vit victory cities. In Brave Little Belgium, the German goal was to knock out two specific forts and cross a certain border. To win, you need to do those specific things. That's the only way the Germans could win the game, and stopping them from doing that is how the Belgians won the game. In White Eagle Defiant, the victory conditions are less constrained. You're just trying to control a certain number of victory cities, and uh, you'll note that Warsaw, being the capital, uh, counts as three victory cities. So the Germans have different options, different avenues of attack, trying to get uh, these spaces here, which are the, the white spaces with the red border, those are the victory cities. And uh, the Polish player is able to choose their battles and retake the cities to lower the German VP count, might even be able to take the fight to the Germans, capturing certain German forts. So all this plays through use of, of these markers, these orange markers, on this track. The Germans capture a city, say they capture the city here, then they're going to put a marker in there and that's going to increase the number on the track showing the number of victory points they have. And if the Polish take it back, it goes back on the track and lowers the number. Now for the Germans to win, they need to have 9 VP by the end of turn 8. Um, and the Soviets will come in if they have at least 6 VP uh, starting from the end of turn 5 onward. Uh, so in order to play well, either side needs to be flexible. It needs to respond to a shifting, evolving, and fluid strategic situation. It makes for a fuller and more compelling experience. And is one of the ways White Eagle Defiant improves on its predecessor. Alright, that's it for today. Bye.